Hi, this is Mr. Judd. These two pairs of pictures are identical twins. The two young ones are identical to one another, and the two old ones are identical to one another. If you look closely, you'll notice that the younger twins actually look more similar to one another than the older twins look. What's going on there? They have exactly the same genes. In this video, we're gonna talk about how gene expression can change based on which environment you're exposed to. The key terms for today are gene expression, environmental factor, and differentiation. Let's talk about gene expression in general first. Gene expression goes back to our central dogma. If you remember what that is, that is how DNA uses its information. DNA has the code to make proteins within, cell, within cells, and those proteins give us our traits or characteristics. Gene expression operates on this arrow. You can think of gene expression as an on-off switch. So here's our switch on, off. If the DNA is actively being used to produce proteins, then the gene is on, and the trait will show up. If DNA uh, does not produce that protein, then it won't produce that trait. So if we switch this gene off, even though the DNA is there, the protein won't be made and the trait won't be there. That's gene expression, turning genes on or off. Now let's talk about what actually turns them on or off, and those are environmental factors. So this is going to be probably one of the worst bunny rabbits I've ever drawn but this is a classic study animal. It's actually not a rabbit, it's a hare, a snowshoed hare. Uh, it looks like a pretty big one. And uh, some famous experiments were done. Uh, scientists noticed that when temperatures got cold, this white rabbit would turn dark brown or dark colored. So they did this experiment where they took an ice pack, so here's our ice pack, and uh, strapped it onto the bunny's back, and if left there long enough, that part of the bunny's fur, or the hare's fur, will turn dark. So our ice pack, or the cold, is our environmental factor. It is turning on the production of a black colored or dark colored protein, and it's only turned on under the right conditions, about 37 degrees C and colder will uh, turn the production of that dark protein on. One other example of gene expression at work is differentiation, and this is going to require a little bit of review. To produce a new sexually produced offspring, well, let's do humans, you have to combine sperm and egg, that's fertilization, you get a zygote, so there's our fertilized egg or zygote, and then eventually that's going to turn into a human being. Uh, that requires this cell to undergo mitosis or cell division. Uh, and that means that every cell that is made into this organism is identical. They have the same exact DNA. So between the head and the foot, all the way, we have the same DNA in every cell. But how's that possible? the head cell has the same DNA as the foot cell, even though they're so different? Well, this requires differentiation. Differentiation. Different cells are exposed to different environments, in other words, different neighboring cells during the process of development, and they will therefore turn on or off specific genes to produce the right types of proteins and express the right traits depending on where they are in the body. So if we go back and review, Identical twins look so similar because they have the same DNA. It's almost like they're the same person. Young twins look very, very similar to one another. As twins age, it has been verified by studying genes and by comparing the genes between different twins that their gene expression actually changes over their lifetime because they're not exposed to exactly the same environmental conditions. Different genes are turned on or off in the different twins, so they end up looking different. The key words were gene expression, turning a gene on or off, environmental factor, which are the factors that turn genes on and off, 
and differentiation, how we go from one cell to many diverse cells within a multicellular organism.